Hey Leo, how is it going? Come on in and have a seat. We are about to do your tarot love reading for June 2020. This is a tarot love reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Now, I myself happen to be a Leo Sun, a Leo Venus, and a Leo Saturn. So this is for my fellow Leos. Now this is a general reading, so it cannot possibly resonate with all Leos. So if this doesn't seem to fit your scenario, then you should check out your Moon Rising and Venus sign videos. Even if this does resonate with you, you might still want to check out your Moon Rising and Venus sign videos because that could give you a different perspective or take a look at your situation from a different point of view and give you a little bit more insight. Let's get these bad boys shuffled here. Now I've already shuffled the cards off camera for you, but I'm going to shuffle them again. Yeah? Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in love for June 2020. What do we have? Now I'm going to start this reading off by taking a look at your energies, the energies of your person of interest, as well as the energies between you guys, your connection, and we're going to look at that in the recent past, your current energies, and the energies in the immediate future. Give these one more quick shuffle here. romantic love life for June 2020. What's going on for my Leos? Okay, here we go. energy is the Hierophant. So this has to do with commitment, possibly marriage of some kind. Maybe it's taking your relationship to the next level. We'll have to see. Hmm. So for your recent past, you got the Knight of Swords. Your person got the Knight of Wands. And the connection between you is the Six of Pentacles. Let's see, for the present, you got the Empress, your person got the Star, and the energy between you is the Page of Swords. And for the immediate future, you got the Ace of Cups, your person got the Fool, and the connection energy between you is the Wheel of Fortune. So let's clarify this and see what we got going on. Let me take a look first and see what the heads up overview tells me here. Mm-hmm. So it looks like in the recent past, you and your person were both rushing in, taking some sort of action. You got the Knight of Swords, so that's like decisive, swift action, or coming in swiftly with the truth and speaking the truth. And your person got the Knight of Wands, which is a rapid-moving energy, um, coming in to take care of business and then getting out of Dodge. So this can sometimes come off as like a player-type energy, where they're in and out. But the connection between you is the Six of Pentacles, which talks about balance and reciprocity and equal give and take. So let's let's dig a little deeper here. Why is the Knight of Swords here for Leo in the recent past? Let's clarify this Knight of Swords for Leo in their recent past. Why is this Knight of Swords here? All right, so far we got the Nine of Wands. Being walled off and defensive, taking time to heal before you take the final step in your journey. I don't know, let's see, what's this 
Knight of Swords about? Why is the Knight of Swords here for Leo in their recent past? Alright, we got the Emperor jump out here. One more for this Knight of Swords. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Well, we got the Eight of Pentacles. On the bottom of the deck is the Ace of Cups again. So that's twice the Ace of Cups has popped up in your reading, Leo. So in the recent past, it looks like you came rushing in with the truth or rushing in to take some sort of fast, decisive action. Hmm. You took control of something. The Emperor. You're, you're working on something. Trying to master something. Paying attention to the details of something while you're resting. I don't, I don't know yet. We'll have to see what, what goes on. Hmm. Let's clarify this Knight of Wands for your person. Why is this Knight of Wands here? Why is this Knight of Wands here? Clarify the Knight of Wands for Leo's person in the recent past. One more card for this Knight of Wands for Leo's person in the recent past. Alright, there we go. Whoa, okay. Ask for one, you get two. We'll take it. At the bottom of the deck, we got the Page of Cups. So, we got the Moon, the Five of Cups, the Queen of Swords, and the High Priestess. To clarify this Knight of Wands for your person in the recent past. So, let's see. Rushing in to take some sort of passionate action here. Hmm. They got something on their mind about the past, that's for sure. They got a little bit of sadness there. They're worried about something from the past. Hmm. Their, their intuition was telling them something, though. About cutting someone off, or about recognizing the truth of a situation. Hmm. Yeah, but they got some sort of regret and remorse about the past showing up here and something hidden in the dark. Let's clarify this uh, Six of Pentacles for the connection between you and your person in the recent past. Why is this Six of Pentacles here for Leo and their connection with their person for the recent past? Why is this Six of Pentacles here? Alright, well, hey, hey now. One well, of the cards are wanting to talk to you, Leo. We got the Four of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Okay, we got the Eight of Swords. The Nine of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, and the Eight of Wands. To clarify, the Six of Pentacles, some, some sort of balance, equal give and take, reciprocity. Hmm. Alright, so you're walled off and defensive about something. Either you came rushing in with the truth, or someone else came rushing in with the truth, or trying to take some sort of action. It looks like you're putting in some work and still being guarded off, but you're taking charge of the situation and coming in as the emperor. Ah. <sighs> hmm. Whatever this balance issue is between you guys. It's, it's got you guys stuck in your head and overthinking the situation a little bit. Nine of 
of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. So there's independence, being good on your own, uh, making plans for the future. And then the Eight of Wands, this is rapid, passionate communication, or so you guys are communicating back and forth about something to do with uh, plans for the future. Maybe you're both thinking about what, what would be the most balanced. Would it be to uh, make plans together for the future or to stay single for the future? And you guys look like you're rapidly communicating back and forth about that. Okay, so let's check out your current energies. You have the Empress. Your person of interest has the Star. And the energy between you guys is the Page of Swords. All right, so with the Empress, this is like uh, all four queens wrapped into one. This is like the, the motherly energy. The, the Empress is perpetually pregnant. She's where all new ideas, new businesses, new loves, everything is birthed through her. Let's clarify this Empress for Leo. Why is the Empress showing up in Leo's current energies? Why is the Empress here for Leo? in their current energies. What is the Empress here for Leo in their current energies? <clears throat> Clarify the Empress for Leo in their current energies. Well, so far we've got the Knight of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. So it's slow moving, whatever's going on here. Standing your ground, defending your, your ideas, defending your, your position, taking the high ground. Let's see here, why is this Empress here? There we go, the Four of Wands shows itself again. Okay, so well, on the bottom we have temperance, trying to achieve balance and harmony, combining two things together, like um, assimilating things. Well, whatever it is that you are trying to birth with your person, it's something to do with your home life and your stability. And then you've got the Knight of Pentacles, which also can represent stability and taking action towards foundations and creating foundations and stability. Um, hmm. I'm not quite sure exactly what's going on here yet. Page of Swords is the connection between you and your person has the star. Why is the star here for Leo's person in their current energy? That should not have come out. That was my fault. Why is the star here for Leo's person in their current energies? We got the Page of Wands. You got a lot of wands out here. There's a lot of passion, a lot of fire energy out here, it looks like. Let's clarify the star for Leo's person in their current energy. Why is the star here? Why is the star here? For Leo's person. Let's clarify the star. And justice. Let's get one more for the star. Why is the star here? Let's clarify the star for Leo's person. Let's clarify the star for Leo's person. are fighting with me. 
wonder if by the star for Leo's person. Okay, there we go. On the bottom of the deck we have the magician, so somebody's manifesting something here. Okay, the star, this represents hope, um, divine guidance. So it looks like currently your person feels like uh, you're a gift to them from the universe. And they have ambition and drive and excitement to start taking the first steps towards working things out with you. They have the justice card, which means everything's going to turn out right in the way that it should and you've got the ace of cups so it looks like your person wants a new beginning with you a new emotional beginning with you and then you are in the empress energy so it looks like you want to birth a new beginning too it just looks like progress is happening a little bit slow on your end and your person is wanting to move a little bit faster it would look like all right, let's clarify this page of swords here. Why is this page of swords here as the energy between Leo and their person? We got the King of Cups just jumped out. Why is this page of swords here? Oh, Queen of Wands just showed her face and went back in the deck. Yeah, you got a lot of wands coming out here. Let's see. Page of Swords. All right. Well, hey. Hmm, five of swords on the bottom of the deck. Alright, so the page of swords seems like uh, you guys are learning about each other or looking into each other, spying on each other, checking in on each other. There's a lot of love here between you guys. Yeah, and, it, and it looks like it the connection between you you guys are just waiting on your ships to come in and victory is going to happen you got the world here which is the end of a cycle looks like somebody was sneaking around previously or trying to get away with something but that cycle is coming to an end Or this could also, the Seven of Swords could also represent strategy. So like the strategizing cycle is coming to an end. So maybe that's why it seems like things are moving slow for you on your end of things. Because uh, there's been some strategy going on, some thinking going on, some waiting for ships to come in regarding this love connection. But it looks like that cycle of waiting is coming to an end. Alright, let's check out these uh, near future energies. You have the Ace of Cups, which represents the beginning of new love and emotions, new relationship. Your partner has the Fool, which represents taking a leap, probably into a new relationship. And the energy between you is the Wheel of Fortune, which can represent divine timing. What is supposed to happen will happen. Let's take a look at this Ace of Cups. Let's clarify the Ace of Cups for Leo and their near future energy. Why is this Ace of Cups here for Leo? Why is this Ace of Cups here for Leo? Now this reading seems to be about the Hierophant, which like I said is commitment, taking things to the next level. Why is this Ace of Cups here for Leo? As it looks like your commitment is being taken to the next level with two Ace of Cups. Your, your person has the Ace of Cups in their current energy. You have it in your near future energy. There's the Wheel of Fortune again. So it's divine timing, divinely guided. Beginning of a new relationship. And what do we have here? We have Temperance. And the Five of Swords. Yeah, it looks like you need to just be a little bit patient. Don't don't stress about it. Don't be, feel confused about it. Just take it as what it is and let the timing of it go naturally. Uh, let's check out this Fool for your person in the near future. Why is the Fool card here for Leo's person? 
And we have Judgment and the Knight of Swords. Let's see, one more for the Fool. Let's clarify the Fool for Leo's person in the near future. When does Leo's person have the Fool energy in the near future? What's going on with that? Alright, and we got the Devil. On the bottom of the deck is Strength. Knight of Swords, which is your energy in the recent past. Now your person has that in the near future. Judgment. So this is like second chances, resurrect, resurrection, um, bringing something back to life in a new way. Uh, this could also be passing final verdict and judgment on something, but they're, they have the full card. That's what we're clarifying. So it looks like they're willing to take a leap in resurrecting something with you so i don't know if you guys were a past relationship and you're getting back together or it, let's what else could this mean your person has now decided that they want to take this leap with you and now they're going to come in taking rapid action towards that in the near future and they have this devil energy which isn't always a bad thing and this this could just represent them being highly sexually attracted to you and they want to come rushing in and take action towards that hmm and they're trying to contain themselves from it is what it looks like to me but let's clarify this wheel of fortune as the energy between you guys in the near future why is this wheel of fortune here between leo and their person in the near future why is this wheel of fortune here Clarify this wheel of fortune between Leo and their person in the near future. We got the Three of Pentacles coming out. And let's see. Oh, we got two here. Queen of Wands and the Three of Swords. With strength on the bottom. Hmm. So we're clarifying the Wheel of Fortune, which could represent divine timing. Um, what is supposed to happen will happen in its own time. This could also represent a change of luck and fortune between you guys. Now it looks like there's some sort of collaboration, some sort of working together here between you and your person. But then we've also got the Three of Swords, which can represent heartbreak. It also represents a third party situation, and we've got a Queen of Wands showing up, which this is the first time we've seen her. So I don't know if there's a third party between you guys. I don't know if you're seeing a Queen of Wands or if they're seeing a Queen of Wands. Or maybe this could just represent that you know what you want, that both of you finally know what you want. And there's going to be a, a change to the heartbreak like the ending of the cycle of the heartbreak and the beginning of a new cycle where you guys come together and are both clear on what you want and are going after what you want and that's that's what it looks like to me because your your person has the full energy and they want to they've cast their judgment and they want to rush toward you and you've got the ace of cups energy with divine timing and temperance hmm well, hopefully that helps you out a little bit, Leo. If this resonated with you, be sure to smash that like button and uh, leave me a comment down below and let me know how this fit your situation. And if you haven't already done so, be sure to subscribe. That way you always get to see the videos that I post because I'm going to post weekly readings for you on the channel. So until then, like I said, I hope this was helpful and I'll see you next time. Bye.